Who lives in a house like this? I love coming up here and looking through Paul's keel. <laughs> so, our dino room is always pretty cool, but today this dino is pretty cool. Uh, bet he's got a height. Wait for the camera, mate. So he always abuses me in the comments. So always, yeah, <laughs> got to. Good man. So got to. Dino Jet 250i. This is like the stable mate of dinos for bikes. Uh, obviously, this one's brand new because these boys do so much. This is Car Rides 2023 BSB practice bike. Look, Justin Bieber's hiding in the background. This is, about to get, this is about to get run in because they're off to Spain and they didn't invite me. Oh dear. Nope. So that's how we are. Kit loom? No, this is road loom. Road loom. Yeah, road loom with Woolwich, Woolwich flash on top. Yeah. Um, yeah. So stock motor. Stock motor, MWR filter. Yeah. Um, levers, bars. No, nothing. No, uh, nothing uh, powertrain wise. Crap of itch, exhaust. Yeah. yeah. Um, apart from that, yeah, nothing, nothing but too like, out of the ordinary. PlayStation buttons. So obviously then traction up and down, select button. I don't even know what. What are all the ones on this They're side? They're more for your dash menus. Right, okay. So you've got kill switch, you've got starter, and then you've got select, and then, and then menu up and down, and down menu, yeah. on, the, on yeah. the menus. So. And then everybody's into these scooter brakes now. So we tried it. I was just telling Dutch, you know, I had a RCS lever on a BMW, but it was, there wasn't enough giving it. So everyone's on these HEL scooter brakes now. And they call them scooter brakes because on a scooter, that's where your rear brake was but it's what they use then to help keep the bike flat going into turns and it helps drag you in not so much a wheelie control sort of thing because on the super bikes they kind of map a lot of the torque out for wheelies cool um but this is all about trying to get the bike stopped and help it drag into the turn um and traction out of the band it's yeah. easier just to, to finger isn't it yeah, yeah yeah rather than yeah. rather than a foot um but because on the mini motor days which like here kyle and brad came up through mini motor riding that's how you throttled the bike because you had no power on the throttle all you do on a mini motor is smash it on the side open the throttle wide up and weld the back brake on and then use the brake to let you accelerate out of turn and that's like the new you watch the kids coming through now this is a Mert GP this is how I do it a Mert. and it's just that's the level of rider that's come through we've gone back to using a lot of back brake and we've gone from kids now who grew up on mini motors and metric kits and that sort of thing where the back brake was vital and it's just carried over so yeah, we look forward to seeing photos of this where I'm not there. <laughs> not bitter at all. Are you going? Yeah, of course. Oh, of course you You've got to go, haven't you? Oh, look, I've got my souvenirs from last year. Shh. This tank was... was that was a, uh, like, a Silverstone even... practice bike. And there's... Um, uh, what, like an actual Silverstone practice? Like a bit of patina yeah. on there. Yeah. Character. Yeah, that's Character. the screen from it. I managed to do... Is that like the a wall lot, of shame? A, a lot of damage from a tiny little off. So you know turn three, the little yeah. left? Just as I've gone to pick the throttle up, the front just folded. Mm. You're doing nothing. Ambition outweighs talent, nothing, mate. nothing, are you? Yeah, but no speed at all. Where the track is, yeah, you've yeah. got a foot drop to the kitty litter. Not that it's kitty litter, it's just gravel and rubble. Yeah. And then because it's on a down slope, you just, there's a rain channel. <laughs> That's another six inches. So the bike was sliding just gracefully off the track. It goes off, starts flipping, goes down the channel, and then just went bang, bang twice. And that was it. It was like, you bastard. That was four hours of being there. There's always one in there. And he raced. Used to, long time ago. They didn't call it racing back then. It was like car park parades. They'd like follow the leader. What was your excuse then? Because we'd raced together. <laughs> I'm still racing now, trying to. I lead the car park parades now. <laughs> fair enough, yeah. fair enough, yeah. Right, on that note, cheers, yeah. buddy. Bye. <laughs> right, you're getting it. There we go. Time, right? Is it dinner time? Has he gone to sandwich shop? We were trying to convince Paul to come in, but he's not playing. He does exist, I, I promise he exists. The elusive uh, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holly would say he doesn't exist, because <laughs> he lives at work. And he's never been in here, so he is here. So this is Carl's practice bike, and it's just been run in. Dutch is just sorting out the ECU now. So 
I think we walked around a little bit earlier, didn't we? So like similar things that you see from a superbike. So like on a practice bike, you kind of want the environment to be the same for the rider because there's no point making it one thing and then putting them on a superbike and it'd be completely different. So HEL rear brake, scooter brake, same as the others, the clutch is stacked up in the air. The buttons are slightly different because they they have to be for the road. The superbike electronics are MoTeC. This is still on full road electronics. So literally just unbolt all the lights, even down to there's a flapper delete in the front that these guys print in house to delete the air flap in the front. There's obviously the menu buttons on this side bike sport development switches so we use we use the boys there that's what's on the bmw bsd throttle brembo front brakes and then sat on a dyno and why did she blow 206 with a a beauty of a road tire in so run in bang a map in it run it again see what it's like but mate imagine if my dyno life was like this like strapping cars down and taking splitters off and so yeah then you've got a smiley face so this is what no one sees you can't just throw air at the front of a bike so obviously one bit cools the radiator but then this is a ram air effect because you think what you're doing 10 what do you do 14,000 rpm at the top yeah yeah, yeah on this 14 one so you think 14,000 rpm there's got to be airflow there because it's used to having a pressurized air box so the airspeed's got to stay up with it but yeah did you catch it on a dyno earlier? Has it uh, been run in? No. We'll see if we can catch it when it's on dyno. Yeah. But these are the best sounding bikes in the world. These sound mega. We've got mission control here. Mission control. So what have you got? AFR. What AFR, have you got? Yeah, RPM. the weather station. So you've got cell temp, <coughs> cell pressure. Just stand on there, mate. So top left, you've got AFR. What's go-go ratio? <laughs> yes, the AFR, but in a digital format. <laughs> right, okay. Then you've got a weather station details on the bottom left. So you've got cell temperature, cell pressure, and humidity. So same as what our Maha deals with, really. That's how it does the calculations. With a little, let's see, let me unplug it. Weather station. With a little atmospheric sensor there. Cool. But cool. That's where it gets Doesn't all that data Doesn't look anything from. like mine. Mine's that big stack in the corner of my dyno. Uh, then obviously RPM in the centre, speed and power output, so again RPM, uh, horsepower doesn't exist, so it's torque with a calculation against RPM, so we always watch torque when on a dyno to see if it does anything silly, so even on our dyno it'd be the same. Then what have you got, load control cell in the bottom right, so you can load the dyno up similar to our test feature so like where we put in traction mode and we can I can put a newton meter force against the dyno yep. you can do the same on this so you because if you freewheel it you've never got any load on the engine and then you can obviously do uh, rpm hold as well which is why it's tied into the, the it's tied into throttle position and it's tied into like number one coil so it knows the rpm uh, and then you can set other sensors as you want then so load control temp is a far right so obviously if you keep the retarder on for too long you can. Yeah. That's all right. That's right. Turn the bike on. You can have a. Can't turn the bike on. I've got a ECU here. Uh, hey, bear with me. This one, but just so you can see the throttle moving. So now you there you go. Throttle. So now top right left. because it's fly by wire it doesn't yeah. open fully until ah. you're in a gear and at yeah. a certain percentage so that's me making so this this is where the electronics come in trick right so this is where on road electronics versus race electronics it can hold you up in a corner so i say coming out of redgate donington park and i'm standing the bike up and i go 100 percent throttle the bike's only seeing 40 percent. so i'm making a hundred percent request And because yep. of the calculations going on inside the ECU, it goes, <laughs> you went handling 100% throttle, so it throttles it all back. And that's the difference then between like the electronics on Brad's bike, where if he asks for it, he gets it because the rider knows more. Whereas on these things, they'll protect you. So to a certain point now, when Carl goes on track with this, he'll, put, he'll add this to the limit because it'll try to protect him so much, whereas he knows best. So by 
within a day he'll have everything switched off and it'll give him everything he wants yeah I don't think I'll have run with anything turned on anyway no. no no I think when you're used to it you feel so like I, I said to the boys earlier like my bike's on road electronics my BMW and I race Craig Neve at Alton Park uh, start of the year and there's a certain turn there where I couldn't even breathe on my throttle and he was on the same bike but with the RCK kit the race electronics and he was driving hard through that corner because it dropped to split throttles and pulled all the timing out and he just drove away from me and I was on the same bike different electronics couldn't touch my throttle if I did I'd be in the gravel so that's the level that you sort of get to with these big bikes it's it's, it's not only that um, you're on about a rider wants 100% and on the Motec it gives him 100% yes there is that aspect of it but also riders think 100% throttle you're going to be propelled forward faster yeah. because you're opening it more well that's not always true especially on like a super bike the old the older sort of stuff where it was a one-to-one -one throttle if you could actually progressively open the throttle at the op optimum gas speed yeah it would be faster than just whacking, just it, whacking open. it open and this is what fly by wire throttle yeah. is great for because you can you can ask for 100 percent, but the electronics go well we know that 100% here, you'll Isn't actually peak. reduce the power slightly. Yeah. Isn't peak efficiency. So it's, it's, it's just on about getting the gas speed uh, optimised at all times and Yamaha have done all their calculations and they, they know better than anybody else what this engine wants at particular RPM and load. So, so that's, for me, that's, that's the, yeah, the, the, the beauty of fly-by-wire. And, then and you, can also, you can also do it the other way where you can actually reduce the ETB slightly if you've got a peak in torque, you can reduce the ETV and yeah. just smooth out and get the drive much nicer. So if you've done a bike, it's, it's crucial. Whereas in a car, you it, light the tyres up a bit more, have some more fun. Yeah, Whereas on a bike, it's a bit like, that's hang it. On I, a minute. I would I'm, say, I'm slowing myself down. I would say it's sometimes harder to distinguish between whether it's efficiency based or intervention based when yeah. it's holding the throttle back. So the big telltale for me is you go and watch a stock thousand race at Donington out of coppice along the big roller along the back straight. They yeah. all wheelie yeah. and none of the super bikes do. Because every super bike, they just pull a torque down in that. They know 50 but then at the that point. the chassis is much nicer, the geometry is set better. And, and it's, that's the adjustability you've got versus yeah. it. Like we were saying earlier yeah, yeah. about mine, it would be lovely to go into mine and tweak the engine braking maps, yeah. but I can't. On the RCK kit, I have that adjustability, but I also have the data to back it up. And that's then where we start to go from track day stuff is fine. And then when you start even racing to a certain level, road electronics, how many boys? Yeah, I, I, you've got to be, club, club racing, you're probably going to be one at 70, top, uh, 70, 80% on, on just stock electronics. Maybe oh God, easy. Top, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think 10, 15% in club racing, yeah. obviously, obviously national level. You can't do it. The stock classes yeah. have to be on a. Or, well, it, you can, it can do it on road, kit, but it's got to be kit. Kit or road electronics. Um, it's only. But no disservice to Craig Neve. Craig Neve kicked my ass. Well, he was smoked me. He but do. where does he come in stock fouls? Oh, he yeah. ain't in top five, is he? No, 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 no. You know, no. and that's then that's the level, and then the level, and then the level, and then you go to the back of the BSB teams. And there's boys at the front of stock thousands that are faster than the back of BSB, so you get that overlap, and then you get to the front of BSB where you sit here and. And like, don't forget, obviously, you've got the club racer tyre debacle where club racers all stick in Bridgestone VO2, yeah. think they're the dog's bollocks. Put it on a slipperelli. Get it on a slipperelli, <laughs> and it's like, it's sideways yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. I can't ride. I can't ride anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. I don't do that at all, mate. I don't do that at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice little wander around, we've had a lovely day. We have, we had a lovely uh, chippy dinner. Yeah, we did. So, no, thanks mate. Let me hang out in your dino cell, it makes a change. It's normally people in my dino cell. Right. And this is far more interesting. But, right, we're gonna leave it there. I'm going for tea. Good night. See you in a bit.
Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, so, uh, 